Today in Roman History and Antiquity, I will focus on Nicomedes IV and Julius Caesar. As I promised from my last video, I will talk about these two men and address the allegations. Even though Caesar is well known throughout Roman history, especially the Civil War and his Gallic campaign, this video focuses on a young Caesar. Find out today about the relationship between Nicomedes IV of Bithynia and Julius Caesar. This is the final part of the series on Nicomedes IV's relations with Rome. In 81 BC, the Second Mithridatic War still raged on, and one of the battles was in Melitene. Marcus Minucius Firmus was the praetor and led the effort, and he chose a young 19-year-old man, Julius Caesar, or Latin, Julius Caesar. His task was to obtain ships from Bithynia under Nicomedes IV. Arguably, he was the best choice due to his father serving in Roman Asia during Nicomedes' reign. It was his first time visiting Bithynia, but it was not the last. There were allegations about Julius Caesar and Nicomedes IV of banquet and sexual activity. The source came from a 1st century AD Roman historian, Suetonius. The rumor started from Roman traders in Asia and was about Caesar's submission to Nicomedes, referring to the banquet and seduction. Possibly the implied reference could be seduction. Marcus Brutus heard about the moniker Queen of Bithynia as Nicomedes' lover, and Gaius Memmius used the term cupbearer to describe Caesar's role in the banquet. Although Caesar was a charming man, I doubt the veracity of the first charge of being a lover. It is more likely an exaggeration of the well-received reception and the second visit, alleging getting money from one of his freedmen. Possibly, it is due to Caesar's success that might have prompted a second visit or reassurance to utilize some of the Gomez's fleet in the siege at Melitene. Finally, Caesar denied the allegations and probably derided them as cheap political points to hurt his reputation amongst the people, his support base. Regardless, Caesar achieved his task and helped to win at Melitene. I think it is safe to say that Julius Caesar had a good time in Bithynia, and the visit made an impression on him. Visiting a Hellenistic court and experiencing its culture up close might have impacted the young Julius Caesar. Caesar's time in the East would go on. But pirates, Pompey and Cleopatra. Thank you for watching this three-part series on Nicomedes' relations with Rome. 